Hello going guys, I'm the Andres Trucker and welcome to a little G27 tutorial on how to get this wheel working, the G27 working with the H shifter and the clutch and everything on the game that I normally do on my channel which is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do it because for some reason some people I've read on like forums and stuff, uh, they seem to have trouble trying to make it work. And I'm going to make this video and then direct them to this because hopefully it will help them. So yeah. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to their the Logitech site uh, and go to their support and then go to the and then find the G27 racing wheel and that'll take you here. Uh, you're going to scan support and then you're going to click on downloads, uh, select your operating system so Windows 8 and then download the software. Uh, the link will be in the description if you can't be bothered to find it. This is a, so a similar thing with me. Then what you're going to want to do is once you've installed it, you'll get this Logitech profiler and you're going to want to open this and it's just a little box. And you're going to go press device, you're going to go game controllers, and providing that you already have your controller plugged in, which you should have, I probably should have said that before, have your controller plugged in, uh, it should come up with the racing wheel, say it's OK, you're going to press uh, properties, and it's going to come up with this box thing, and this is where you're going to want to make sure that your wheel's working, so uh, you've got your steering wheel movement, which should be set to 900 degrees, like that, you get the idea. Just put that back. Uh, you've got your uh, your brake and accelerator. So if you put your brake fully down, it should go fully down with the little thing. Also on your wheel, you would note that the LED rev lights will come on, and when you're flooring it, they will flash. Uh, same thing happens with the brake, and then the clutch is sort of like a a meter sort of thing. So if you put it down fully, uh, you're gonna wanna shifters and you'll notice how the wheel sort of turns on its own same thing you can do it with this one and the same thing happens if you press the buttons on the, on the wheel uh, sorry the uh, gearbox uh, if, you, if you press one of these buttons you'll note uh, on the actual shifter on the picture a, like a, ye a yellow box goes over them to show you that you're pressing them to show that they work. So you've got that, you've got that, you've got that, you've got that. You've got the eight-way D-pad, just like that. Um, you have the four buttons down here. Shut up! Stop it, wheel. Okay, right. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. Uh, you got. Okay, you got your first gear. Come up. Second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. And sixth fifth gear. Push it in. Put it back. Reverse. Right. You know everything's working. Are you gonna want to go to go to settings? Uh, you're going to set your degrees of rotation to uh, it's much easier, just have 900. Enable force feedback, these should be all on 100. Uh, the centering spring, uh, have the, I have that unticked and just on 100. I think this is your default. Allow game to adjust settings, you want that on. Uh, and now I'm going to go be right back, and I'm going to be back in DX Tori in Euro Truck Simulator 2, 2 to show you what to do in the game. Alright, so now we're in the game, you will know I have my sexy pink Kenworth here. Uh, mod. Uh, anyway, what you're going to want to do is go options, and you're going to go to your controls, and where um, where it notes keyboard only, unless you set to set up a new profile, then you select the wheel. But if you haven't done that, just imagine you haven't. Uh, if you just want to go onto a save you already have, uh, go to your controls. Go from keyboard only. Uh, select the G27 racing wheel. Uh, controller subtype wheel. Uh, transmission. You want the H shifter. If you want the H shifter. Uh, don't have automatic uh, transmission on adaptive. You, you're going to want to set the steering sensitivity to max. Uh, steering uh, non-linearity, uh, have that on minimum. It's kind of hard to explain. Force feedback, you want that on. Uh, you kind of want the gain. It's, this is all personal preference. I normally have the gain a tiny bit up, the stiffness a bit down. Centering, I t tend to have this sort of stuff down, and collision is quite a bit down. If you're the sort of person who crashes a lot and you don't want your wheel to go mental. Uh, your joy steering axis, dead zone. If your wheel is a bit broken, all right, I've just turned fully left now, and uh, fully right. If for whatever reason your wheel's a bit broken, you can put the dead zone up, so it won't turn for a bit. So if I turn this like half, you're gonna have to turn it quite a lot before it actually starts turning, and then just a like, little bit, counts for quite a lot. So if I turn this, Ma near max, you'll notice that it just shoots up with the last tiny bit, if that makes sense. Uh, so have that on minimum if your wheel's normal. Steering axis mode centered. 
accelerator dead zone, you're going to want to have that on um, minimum. And you're going to have joy accelerator. There you go. So if I have this minimum, once again, you're going to have to put your foot quite a bit down for it to start moving. You know, and then if you put it up here, you're going to just, you either have full power or no power. So if you put it down, then you can slowly rev it. Uh, you're going to have this on inverted and centered, I believe. Brake axis, this sh should be on joy accelerator as default. You're just going to hit the brake and then you notice how the brake's working. And then put your dead zone on zero, so you've got the whole brake thing. As usual, clutch, you're going to set, just put your foot on the clutch and then you've got joy clutch, put it on none as just there. Uh, look, you can leave all these if you want. Uh, right now, shift the layout. Range or splitter, this is all up to you. Range is you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you press the very left red button on your gear shift. You press that, and then first will be seven, second will be eight, if you get the idea. That's what I use. Uh, splitter would be, um, I think it's just on one set of gear, which is what you normally use. You go one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, you get the idea. Uh, so I like to have it on range, it's much easier. Now you're going to go to keyboard. And you're going to select everything you want. So what I normally have in mind, start, stop, engine. I have it as the second red button, the one next to the range thing. So that's already set on there. Parking brake, on two. I, uh, you can see all mine. Uh, cause these are all my settings. Left turn indicator, I have that as the change down paddle shift. Right turn indicator, right paddle shift. Hazard warning, I have that as uh, the one last red button on the gearbox thing light modes i just have these on the black things on the uh, on the wheel uh these are all oh, pressed off these are all just personal preference uh so you set them to what you want and then you just go to drive and then just go in to make sure everything's working so you can see the wheel should be quite stiff and then when you turn the engine on it should become quite easy to turn and yeah, just check that your wheel is working. So I'll show you what I mean by the range. So I'm, my gear shift is actually in fifth right now, and that's in sixth. And then I'm going to press the first red button on the joystick, uh, not joystick, on the shifter. Press it, and then go to first to put you in seventh, and you get the idea. So I'm just going to pull over here because I'm actually doing a job off camera. Ah, well. That has been how to set up the wheel with the G27. I hope you guys did find it informative. And if you did, please uh, be sure to subscribe. I do videos uh, um, like Euro Truck Simulator, Grid, oh, hello truck, uh, and other stuff uh, like that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And well.